men's lacrosse here, Coach Silo, Coach Wolfong here, congratulations on a great regular season. Um, you guys are now entering into the playoffs here. You have Westminster. You guys are the only team in the spring hosting a playoff game at St. Vincent. Coach Wolfong, how do you feel about that? Yeah, well, uh, thanks for having us here today, Andrew. Um, you know, certainly being able to host a playoff game here at St. Vincent College is incredible, right? Um, you know, I think for us at the beginning of the year, this is one of definitely one of the goals that we wanted to set out was make it back into the pack playoffs. Um, certainly, you know, we didn't want to just make the playoffs. We wanted to make it to the uh, to the pack title game. Um, obviously, we got our first round on Wednesday. We're facing up against a, another tough team, a tough opponent, a familiar opponent, Westminster. And, um, you know, we're excited to have him here. Uh, I wish the weather would cooperate a little bit more. Um, it is not your traditional May weather. Um, but at the end of the day, we're excited to be playing lacrosse. Um, we've been talking to the guys nonstop that, you know, there's a lot of teams that aren't playing lacrosse right now. That their seasons are finished. So um, this is awesome for us to be here to host the game and, and to can continue to keep this train rolling. Awesome. Now, Coach Seal, the defense, again, had another phenomenal pre uh, performance under you. You know, the third-ranked scoring defense only giving up 106 goals um, throughout the season. What can you say about the defense's performance as they've gone through the season? Yeah, Andrew, I mean, I think we were already set up for success coming into this year. You know, we brought back three starting defensemen, really only had to replace our starting long stick midfielder. You know, that makes it a lot simpler than just, you know, having to reload and restart with a fresh group of guys for sure. But... You know, these guys, they come to work every day. I think they hold themselves to a high standard as much as I do. And that makes my job very easy. You know, Brody, Ben, AJ, RJ, those are guys who they've seen a lot of lacrosse in their time here, you know, high school into college. Now they've all been playing big minutes pretty much since they stepped foot on campus. So it just makes my life easier. And they, they gel really well together. And at the end of the day, they're the ones who take care of business. I'm just giving them as much direction as I can. Yeah, no, this is kind of for both of you, but Coach Wolfong, you know, so many of the guys, it seemed like every other week, you know, 100 points score, 100 goals score. So many of these guys have been a part of the program for so long. What can you say about their success and what it means for them is most of them are now seniors. Yeah. You know, I think first and foremost, um, as Coach Silo mentioned, you know, we're, we're truly blessed to have great players, guys that have logged a lot of minutes at UPMC Field or under, uh, you know, the, uh, the Bearcat jersey. Um, you know, first and foremost, I think the shout out firstly goes to P Coach Peter Tulk, the previous coach here, who recruited those guys. Uh, Ryan Reesmeyer, another previous coach, did a great job of bringing in a really talented freshman class four years ago. And those guys have really um, been a huge instrumental part of this program and our success. I've honestly made Coach Hill and my job pretty easy. Um, you know, with that, they've worked pretty hard to get to this point. And, and you just see the fruit of their labors really starting to pay off. You know, we're, we're not... You know, really, at the end of the day, counting our points, um, you know, we're really just working towards getting to that pack playoff game, winning a pack championship, and then making it into the NCAA tournament. Um, all that other stuff is just a, a byproduct of, of all the work that we put in. It's great to see that those guys are getting recognized. Um, but as we always say, you know, the uh, individual awards are based on collective team effort. And, and I think we have a really good dynamic team that, um, that does a lot of things really well. And when we're clicking on all cylinders, man, I think a lot of people are, are, are playing well. And, uh, you know, you end up getting 100 points, 100 goals, right? Uh, I would be very interested to see what the, the, the saves are, the, the ground balls that cause turnovers as well. Um, those guys don't get nearly as much recognition as they should, but um, those guys have done a great job on the other side. So I just think we have a really talented veteran group of guys that are, are playing good lacrosse right now, which is awesome as we can turn into the, uh, the month of May. Yeah, no, Coach Silo, Wilfong kind of touched on it. What can you say about, you know, veteran presence, uh, Noah Sperling coming back here in his fifth year to play goalie and what that's kind of mean to solidify the defense? Yeah, I mean, honestly, before the end of May, early June last year, we didn't think Noah was going to be coming back to pursue a graduate degree here at St. Vincent, but couldn't have been happier when he called us and let us know he, that he was going to do that for sure. Um, he is the definition of steady. He shows up to work every day. He brings the same mentality, same emotional spectrum you know he's very calm cool collected he's never too high never too low and you know goalie is you know you're on an island a lot of the time right you know the ball goes in the net as much as it might have been somebody else's fault you know your job is to save the ball so it's it's not an easy position to be always mentally locked in always calm cool and collected but Noah he's you know he's a phenomenal goalie reigning goalie of the conference in the pack and he's a guy who we know that no matter what day of the week it is rain or shine we can always rely on Noah. Awesome. Coach Wilfong, last question. What can we expect from the Bearcats tomorrow in the PAC semifinals? 
Yeah. Um, you know, obviously it's uh, it's a home game for us, and I think you're going to see a lot of great energy, right? As I mentioned, the weather is probably not going to be that great outside, so we're going to have to bring the juice ourselves. Um, I think the team's incredibly prepared. Um, you know, to be honest, I spent a lot of time this week thinking, oh, i got to come up with the perfect game plan. i got to make sure these guys mentally are locked in. And we had a great practice yesterday, uh, completely pouring down rain. And I think everybody across the board just knew what they needed to do. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I think for me, it's just – Make sure that we're we're kind of steering this train in the right direction. But these guys are moving everything forward. These guys are doing a great job. Um, hoping to get a great turnout. Uh, dress warmly. Make sure you bring your umbrellas. Um, but I think it's going to be a great game, a great atmosphere. Um, really hoping that you know we get a great turnout from our administration, from our students. Obviously, I know we'll get a great turnout from our families. But it's uh, it's playoff lacrosse, and that's St. Vincent College, so it's going to be a good one. We're excited. Yep, and don't forget to pick up your bucket hat tomorrow. Coach Celo, Coach Wolfong, thank you for joining me. Go Bearcats.